What's up guys and welcome to the channel. It's Adrian with AC Designs Garage. Today is a big day. We've been working on this 1932 Ford that's behind me for about five years. We got the motor and stuff put in today and today is going to be the first day of firing. This engine has not been fired. We pumped the oil pressure up and stuff yesterday and added all the fluids and well today you're going to see what's going to happen. So whether it spews oil and stuff everywhere I hope it don't. But Alright I'm going to give you all a little bit of rundown on what we have here. This is my dad's 1932 Ford. It's gonna be a high boy roaster. The body and everything's already painted. We've painted and molded the chassis. It's got a, I think these mufflers are like a Super 44 type flow master. They're the Jegs house brand. So we're gonna see what they sound like. We'll give you a good audio clip of it running, but I'm just gonna give you an overview of the car. It's a, I painted the car. It's a 1973 Corvette Yala. Don't mind these wheels, these are just mock-ups. We got nicer ones, we just got these to roll around on. It's got a turbo 350 transmission, low car shifter in it. I ground and smoothed the block, sprayed it with like epoxy and then high build and then high build primer and then sanded it to smooth the engine. It's nothing fancy, it's got an Elderbrock air gap intake, a 600 CFM Elderbrock carburetor, and the big thing we're excited about is it's got a comp mother thumper cam in it. So we're going to see what that sounds like. Have a few billet specialties, accessory drives, and just try to make the car clean. It's, it's full of ARP 12 bolt polished stainless, which I think is a nice detailed touch. Uh, these block cover style headers are just Speedway motors. They're pretty cheap, but they hold real tight to the engine. So you got room to run your exhaust and everything. I forgot to mention on the color, like I said, I epoxied the we like I said, we ground the transmission housing and the block down to bare metal and took a lot of the casting marks off and shot it with an epoxy primer. And then we shot it with a high build primer and sanded it smooth. And uh, I forgot to tell you the color. This is a house of color galaxy gray that we sprayed on it, but I shot it with a like a satin clear on top of it. So it's a base coat clear coat on it, but it gives it a cool satin look to it. it it's just a really neat color, I think, that goes with the yellow. That was the problem we was having when we were picking colors for the car is the engine block because not everything looks good with yellow. If you paint the engine black, it's gonna look like a bumblebee. If you paint it red or something, I don't know, it's gonna start getting weird looking, but I think this house of color galaxy gray it's a really cool metallic but when you hit that flat clear on it it really does some neat stuff with all the different flake and pearls that's in it hey you can't see much of the frame after we get it started and everything i'll try to uncover it so you can really see it we just trying to keep from chipping this paint the best we can and all the the air cleaner and the valve covers and everything that's a just billet specialty stuff just as they are with a like a satin powder coat. We got one of the, I think you call it Protronics, flamethrower, billet distributors, and, and they're a coal. Here's our bar to buddy of mine's manual oil pressure gauge and stuff we just got run down so we can watch the vitals as it's going. Get a good shot of the chassis. This thing's pretty slick. I hadn't final buffed it yet, but it's pretty cool. Got a triangulated four link. It's got an eight inch forward on it, coilovers. But I hope this start goes well. Been waiting a long time for it, so pretty excited about it. We gotta go up here and show you our little start panel I made up yesterday so we can have everything together. She got the Lucky 7 chrome drilled I beam axle. We got our uh, temperature gauge over here. We're gonna monitor while we're breaking it in. And I just put me a little key switch on here. And we're running a K&N electric fuel pump to it. It's gonna, actually we got it run at, it ducks into the frame here, then it'll run back up here to the sending unit stuff when it's finished, but we just got a, a line run out. We're just gonna stick it in a bucket. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Hope she sounds good. Has one of them chompity chomp cams in it, so I'll let you know what it sounds like as soon as all the 
the crew gets here, we're gonna have all our buddies over here who's helped on it and stuff, and they wanna see us like the fires and hear her run. There's two pictures of him on that serious track.
All right, guys, the next day, I'm going to show you the cam that we're using. It's a comp mother thumper cam. I'm going to show you the box, all the specs, and uh, I'm going to leave it in the description below where you can get this through Amazon. i got a affiliate account, and it'll uh, help the channel out if you guys want to. But uh, show you where you can get it, uh, break in oil and stuff we use to break the engine in. But uh, here we go. All right, guys, here's the box that the cam came in. There's the part number right there. I was really impressed on how great this cam sounds. It sounded like this motor was built all to pieces. It's just a bone stock 350 four bolt main crate motor from Jegs. And we got the cam and lifter kit. It comes with the new lifters, I guess they pair up with the cam and we'll open the box up and see how it goes. What's in here now is our stock cam and lifters that we took out of the motor. It comes with your box of lifters. Like I said, these are all stock GM stuff. We just put it in in case we ever had a stock motor. Maybe we need to repair or something. I'll give you part numbers on these. Focus. And uh, here's the cam. These are all lobe separation, lift and everything. But I'm pretty impressed. This is the middle one in their series. They have a thumper, a mother thumper, and a big mother thumper. And this is the mother thumper, the middle one. And pretty impressed how it sounds. Sounds like it has a lot of horsepower, but it's just a good stock reliable motor. Now right, here's a look at just the stock GM cam. It's always good to put this stuff back up. You never know when you may need some of these stock parts or one of your friends do. All right, guys, well, I thought I had a bottle of the break-in oil laying around I was going to show you, but I'll uh, link it in the description down below. That way you can go check it out. I'll give an Amazon link. and uh, But it works really good. It's a high zinc. You want that when you're breaking your cam and stuff in. But it's a Valvoline VR1 is what it is. Our, our 350 uses five quarts. All right, guys, I'm going to give you a once-over on the engine. We've already pulled a lot of the wiring off. We're getting ready to start running all the wiring through the chassis and uh, setting the body. Hopefully do a video to let you guys see how two guys set a 32 Ford hot rod body on here by ourselves with just a winch. But here's the engine and hope y'all enjoyed it. I did forget to mention on these Speedway headers and stuff, we just used a regular VHT header paint and it's, it's been around for a while up to temperature for probably an hour or better. And I tell you, I'm pretty impressed on how that regular rattle can high heat paint held up. I'll link a can of the VHT in the description also. But here's where we are now. We're getting ready to start pulling wires and stuff through the chassis and let me uncover it so you can see it. We gotta run our fuel pump wires, all this, and wired up to the sending unit in the tank. But I hope y'all guys enjoyed the fire up of the car and stuff first time we've been waiting four or five years to get to this point and it went by without too many hiccups i thought it's kind of nervous about my paint job coming off it's a base coat clear coat stuff i wasn't sure how it was going to hold up but it's, so far it seems to be holding up pretty good it didn't fade out or start chipping yet so I'll let you guys know over the long haul how it holds up, whether I recommend it, but so far that base clear gives such a cool looking job. So I want to thank you guys for coming along the adventure. I hope you enjoyed the startup of Daddy's 32 Ford and uh, if you liked what you saw, please click subscribe, ring notification bell and uh, come along with me on the journey on building hot rods and painting and fixing up cars. Hope you enjoy it. God bless.